I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my ninth house and hellbent reading vlog. So hellbent is here, well it's not actually here with my flat yet, um, I missed the delivery for it yesterday but um, I have started reading ninth house and I wanted to do a vlog of me rereading it. I'm currently up to page 42, I did try and start this vlog yesterday but I didn't get anywhere with it. I wanted to basically vlog my reading my thoughts while rereading Ninth House and then vlog my thoughts while reading Hellbent for the first time. So there won't be any spoilers, I'll probably do a spoiler chat at the end but it'll be so so well marked. Um, and yeah, I hope you're excited. So yeah, I did try, to, I've tried a few times this week to start reading Night House, but I've just been so busy I haven't had the time, which is really frustrating. Um, so I'm a little bit behind anyway, but thankfully the book isn't even here yet. So I'm not behind too much. I'm currently on, I'm on page 58, which isn't very far in. There's about 450 pages in there, so not doing too good. But I am sort of really enjoying it again. Um, I, from what I remember, because this came out, what, three, four years ago? Um, it came out quite a few years ago now. Um, so, and I read it pretty much straight away. Um, I actually have the proof of it. So I think I even read it before it came out. Um, and I was obsessed with it. I loved it so much. And um, I'm a little bit hazy on the details. So I remember, um, I remember that A, B and C, like the main points, and like a couple of scenes that um, everybody remembers. Um, but there are a couple of scenes that I am, they're the, the connecting points I'm a little bit hazy on and the particulars. So I'm really glad to be rereading it um, and super interested. Um, already I'm like, oh, this is amazing. It's like, re it's kind of like reading it for the first time, but I've had some spoilers. So I've been really, really enjoying it. I've only got about 20 minutes of my lunch break left. I just had to film some videos. Um, so I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea and hopefully get some reading done. Um, just some physical reading while I'm doing it. And uh, chill out. I'll let you know as I'm going. I feel on the go. Um, this is the first reading vlog I filmed in A, ages and B in 2023. So we're going, we're starting with a banger, hopefully. Hello, so it's Friday morning. Uh, this morning I am feeling not my best, but I've got to go out for dinner tonight, so I've got to sort all this out at some point later today, but to now is not the time. It's uh, 20 past eight, um, so I'm not ready to work yet. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on Ninth House. I am up to chapter 11, which is a page of 182, which I think is pretty good. Um, so I'm just, I'm not quite halfway there yet, but I'll probably be listening on a little bit of um, a faster speed today. Um, let's see. I've got about 10 hours left in the book normal speed. So um, I could probably finish today if I tried. Um, I am going to be listening to the audiobook. I've got a couple of errands and house things to do to get ready for the weekend. Um, but mainly I am listening to the audiobook and that is because... Um, I am trying to crochet this lovely little baby blanket for my niece. It's very big. Um, I did a sample um, practice baby blanket. If you're not interested in crochet, this is mega boring. But um, I did a sample baby blanket on um, with some other yarn. And I spoke to my friend about it. And it was about sort of like less than half the size of this. Because I, I didn't realise... Um, how small the stitches would come out at and she's got a baby and she said about double and then I doubled it in this yarn and even though the yarn seems very, still relatively similar I don't know if it's because my stitches are better now I've got some practice um but it is very big so this is going to be the shorter side I'm not going for full evenness um, I'm just gonna um keep going and then decide when I think it's too when I think it's long enough. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would take, um, mainly because I'm trying really hard to get it right. Um, this is my first ever full blanket or full project, really. It's taken me, I think when, like, um, I think it was during like the Smut Den when um, Cassidy was doing crochet and I think Mel was doing crochet and so was Rye. 
and they were all doing crochet um, on their sprints and stuff. And I was trying to learn then. And when I had COVID, I was trying to learn, um, but I just couldn't get the hang of it. And then all of a sudden, uh, a few weeks ago, I picked it up again after trying multiple times throughout the year when my sister's sister-in-laws were pregnant. Um, I thought, yeah, I'm going to make a baby blanket, but I'll need to start now. I couldn't get the hang of it. And then all of a sudden, something around Christmas just clicked. And then I was able to do it. But then I was like, okay, so I'm going to get all the stuff and make um, the, my sister-in-law that at the time was pregnant and due to have a baby in a few weeks. Um, I was like, oh, I'll have time to get one ready for her baby. Um, so I thought that'd be really nice. Um, and then... Uh, my lovely niece came three weeks early and she's here and I've already met her but we didn't have we had like a little bag of presents ready but we were waiting on something to arrive <clears throat> so we haven't given that to them so um I am crocheting against the clock because we are seeing them tomorrow afternoon at three and I'd really like to have this finished obviously I am more hopeful that I will be able to get it finished because um, obviously I can't re I can't crochet while working, um, but I can crochet on my breaks um, if I am. I've got a few errands to run to make my day easier tomorrow. But tomorrow I should be able to literally just sit down, listen to my audiobook, and crochet all the way until we go. So I'm really hoping that I'll get it done. Um, we'll have to see. I've still got a long way to go, um, but. I don't want it to be too out of proportion. I am also seeing them on Sunday. Um, so if there's if it's not done by tomorrow, then I'll have to get it done for Sunday, which is fine. Um, I will do that. Um, but we'll see. I thought I'd bring you along for the ride because that's why I am audiobooking and not um, reading physically because I am trying to do something at the same time. And I thought I'd update you on my progress. I'm just annoyed that it's a little bit too long than what I thought it would be. Also, I thought I'd better actually give you my thoughts on Ninth House. I am enjoying it so, so much. So much of it is like stuff that I couldn't remember. The little details and the little moments um, I wasn't familiar with. But so a few things have happened um, when we'll get to a scene and I'll be like, okay, okay, now I remember roughly what's going to happen. But it's quite nice experiencing it that way, um, not knowing, knowing some stuff but not knowing everything just because it's been so long. And I, it's years ago since I've read it, um, but I did really like it. So I'm very, I'm very much enjoying reading it again. Um, I'm just not, um, I don't know. I'm just not speeding through it. Um, Hellbent is actually due to arrive today. So that will be really good because that will finally be here. And also Spare will be arriving as well. Um, just if you're interested. But I will listen to um, Hellbent first. Um, I might read a little bit of Spare um, just to see what's what it's about. Oh, I know what it's about, but you know what I mean. Um, um, and I'll have a look. But I'll show you when the books arrive. Fingers crossed they arrive today, otherwise I'd be really upset. Um, and then we will see how we get on with this bloody blanket. Next time. At least now I know I can do it and I can start the blanket early next time. But now I've got other nieces and nephews that I tried to make baby blankets for, but I could never get to, so now I've got to make them something. So I've got to learn something other than blankets, because now they're too big for the necessity of a blanket. Or have too many. Anyway, that's by the by. I'm going to get back to listening and then I'm going to make myself coffee and um, maybe some breakfast. One thing I'm really, really enjoying is all the layers of the mystery that are building. Um, it's obviously not like hugely complex or anything um, at this stage, but there are there is definitely a lot of mystery. And I think even not knowing from the previous my previous read um not re not remembering what's going on i'm still super intrigued so i think that's really good um and the characters are just really i really love the characters in this um they're so interesting and intriguing and i looked um i did it to my story graph earlier and i realized i only get four stars last time and i just don't feel like that's accurate i feel like it's more than four stars
I don't know, I just really love Lee Body Goes Writing. I know that everyone loves Lee Body Goes Writing and it's a bit old hat, but I like it. I like it a lot. They're here. I've just got um my first Waterstones parcel. Let's have a look and see here. <laughs> Chunky. I'm trying to pull it out. It looks so good. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. That is incredible. Oh, well, Spare's just been attacked. Uh, the cover's a little bit bent, but it's fine. I don't care. Um, ah! Fantastic. That's my receipt. Oh, this is beautiful. And <gasps> amazing. I oh, am. Yeah obsessed this is incredible absolutely incredible i love that <sighs> i'm just gonna unbox spare as well while i'm here just because uh you know, I'm not for you. <sighs> why can't i get these bloody doors open here we go there. Hi Prince Harry. Again, also a little bit beaten up. Oh look. <laughs> oh. Colour me intrigued. Very interesting. I have nothing to say, neither here nor there. I finished ninth house and I decided to actually move up to a 4.75 stars because it didn't feel like quite a five star read. Um, I was pretty hooked on it, um, but um, there were a few times when I wasn't um, as hooked as I'd like to be for a five star read. I ran it through Cassidy's um, spreadsheet, um, the weighted stars spreadsheet. for enjoyment and it's definitely worked in its favour. So 4.75 is what? I think, well, the spreadsheet says 4.5, but I've decided to make it 4.75 because let's do 2.5 stars. Um, why not? Um, yeah, so I've been doing that and I really enjoyed it. There was a couple of things that I was like, oh, did this happen? Like, did am I waiting for something to happen that isn't going to happen? And it did happen. And that was really good. And the reveal was really interesting. Um, even though I vaguely had an idea what's going on and I'm laying back really crazy but I'm working on this blanket um, I'm actually really hoping that I could try and finish tomorrow because um, just a quick update I really got quite a lot of my TBR but um, I've got a few videos to film for things that are on my TBR and I want to get those read as soon as possible because A, they're books I'm really, really excited for and B, um, then I could have a little bit of free reading time at the end of the month or potentially um, get ahead on next month's reads that I need to read for next month because, um, spoiler alert, I've got lots of, well, I'm hoping to do lots of um, romance reading vlogs um, and it'd be really great to get a head start on those so it's not super pressured in February to try and complete those. We'll see how we get on. Um, we've still got loads of reading time left in the month. Um, I am a little bit behind, but not too behind, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with finishing that. I know I didn't update loads, but it just it just felt like I just wanted to read instead of update. And I didn't have a whole lot to say non-spoilery. Um, but I definitely really enjoyed it. The Obviously, the draw here is Hellbent because um, Hellbent is new. So I will probably update a lot more on that on my non-spoiler thoughts um so i'm gonna say that you're probably not safe from spoilers for ninth house from this point on i'm gonna say that there's probably spoilers from ninth house after this point but i imagine you've probably thought about that already so i'm not too worried um this bit's a bit rubbish. It dipped in the middle in the middle there. And I don't know why I managed how I managed to get it back out. 
I might try and fix that before at the end, but I'm gonna wait and see. But I've literally done three more rows and it looks, it's looking so good. If I could just get that a little bit, it's just very long, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of crocheting, sorry everyone. Um, but I, um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibes. I'm feeling very into the dark academia. It's feeling very intriguing to me. But yeah, thank you for watching this clip and I will speak to you soon. It's half past seven. This is the progress I made yesterday, which is quite good considering it didn't, I went out and things and didn't have like, any time. Um, I read the first chapter of how, but well, I read the prologue. This is under the dust jacket, by the way. And this is the absolutely stunning cover. Oh, I'm so tired. But I'm going to just start my day by listening to a bit of the audiobook and doing some crochet. Hello. So it's been a couple of days. It's been a little while um, since I've talked to you guys. Um, and I've not made much progress in Hellbent. Basically, I, or on my crochet, um, I was listening on Saturday and something really crazy happened, or Sunday, whenever it was, I last spoke to you, um, something really, really crazy happened in the book. And I was hooked, but I had to stop reading. And I knew that some, because something crazy had happened, something that I wanted to happen had happened, or sort of happened, and I was like, okay, I need to read i need to read more uh and i plan to uh but I, I was like i need to read it when i've got like the time i don't want to be just through the book out or like listening and when i couldn't really pay attention so i was waiting to find the right time and then i had some time to read but i was in a bit of a headspace and i wanted to give hellbent the like the time it deserved i've been waiting four years for it i can wait a couple couple more days i thought so I reread Laura Olympus Volume One and then two and three. Um, and then on my lunch break, um, I decided I was going to read a little bit more. I only managed to read another chapter, but I am hooked. Uh, it really, I was in the right frame of mind, and now I feel I can get back to it and give it the attention it deserves. Um, very, very good. So, so good. So intriguing. So interesting. I love it. I love the characters. Um, I love the intrigue. It's so mysterious. And I just, I feel like we're only getting started. Uh, there's so much I want to re, like, engage in with it. Um, I'm just keeping going. Um, I might try and get a little bit of audio, but listen to this afternoon. And, um, but we'll see how we get on there. Um, and I'll let you know as and when. I read more but yes feeling very very positive about it i'm at page 242 i've got a bit of fluff on me didn't realize that was there um i'm at page 242 it's shit's about to go off um it's been really good it's been really really good so far I'm really hooked in the story and how things are linking up together. I know that there's a few gaps that I'm hoping will be explained, um, but I'm sort of just going with that as being part of the story. We shall see. But big, real stuff's about to happen, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I really like the characters. I like, um, you can really see how um, uh Lee Bardugo really loves a gang of misfits um, or a gang of people that are pulled together, you know, like fam family, but unexpected fam family and things like that. You can really see that that's something that she loves writing about. Um, but it's very different having it in this lens um, where there's a main character. So there's a main character and that person is the center. So you don't get as much of the backstories of the others. Um, I'm hoping that will come in time, but it is just, obviously it's very different to Six of Crows, um, but it has some similar things I liked, and I liked how this one felt a lot more dark academia in the sense that, um, it was a little bit more, like, study-based, or, 
um, things are going on. But yeah, just there's been some real moments where I just wanted to squeal because I love some things in this book. But it's been a really joyful reading experience so far, which has been great because um, I'm just having a bit of a bad couple of weeks. Just some real stress and bothersome things keep happening. But it's fine. Um, I'm going to go make my lunch now and then sit down and spend the rest of my lunch break reading so i'm really excited to see how much i can get read so i had a very productive lunch break and i read up to page 309 things are kicking off not going in the way i expected we got a little bit of backstory moments about each of the sort of characters that we are um getting in this found family things really didn't go the way i expected um and they're going a little bit more into a different direction now, which is quite interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm just really hooked. That's how I literally ploughed through page after page after page after page. I was obsessed. So yeah, I'm really, really good time having a really good time. So it's on page three. I'm on page 308 and it goes up to page 480. So I'm really, really hoping that I can try and get some finished, uh, this finished today, because that would be really great. Um, mainly for my reading plans, but also because I really want to just ride the wave of this until the end. But we shall see how I get on, um, fingers crossed. And yeah, I'll let you know how I'm feeling. Um, I may even have a little post-work bath and try and finish it in the bath i may listen to some audiobook this afternoon while working see how we get on i've got a lot to do uh we're in it's busy it's been busy um but we shall see and i'll let you know just running myself a nice little relaxing bath to enjoy the evening with hello i am looking all kinds of just chaos out of the bath but um, I got up to page 353, so really getting there now with how much left I've got to read. Um, I'm going to take the speed down on my audiobook just because I want to really just really want to slide it down basically. Um, and I'm going to listen to it whilst I am uh, cooking and doing some washing up and just getting ready for the evening. Um, and then hopefully I'll finish the last couple of chapters in bed tonight. We'll see how I get on. I've got to say, so much is happening. It's getting so much more uh, magic uh, in that sense. And I'm really loving it. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a fabulous time. So I really can't wait to see what happens next. Hello, so it's Sunday now. Uh, it's been a little while. It's been a long time. Uh, I thought I was going to finish on, what, like Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thought I was going to finish loads of times. That didn't happen. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, so it's Sunday. I'm up to page 386. So there was another little twisty twist, which I really loved. I thought it was really enjoyable. Um, and sort of where I was expecting things to go, but it was in a, oh, is it going to go that way? But, and then I was like appreciating where it was going. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Sorry, I'm looking down at you. I don't know why I've set my camera up here, but that's what we're going with. Um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying that. I've only got, so 387 is like less than, it's about 100 pages to go, just probably like 90 pages so I've got a few things that I want to get done today so I'm just gonna make a list of them but um I will be finishing this morning because I want to move on to something else uh, another video that will be coming soon so I need to um do some washing do some washing up and something else I want to get done today is sort my wardrobe out um, but I have the audiobook, so it should be fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, like, the bulk of my washing and um, washing up. And then look at um, sitting down and having just a little break. Maybe, hopefully, I'll be able to finish the book then. Um, so that will be really good. But, um, like, I've, I'd quite like to finish it physically. I don't want to finish it on an audio. So we'll see how we get on. Um, but, yeah, I'll let you know. I have moved 
into more deeper territory i should be really nearing the end soon and i know it's probably gonna end on a cliffhanger are we sure lee bardugo is not just writing me a romance novel of my dreams uh because there's a line in here that oh, i just christ so i finished um i'm really really excited really happy the ending was really good some really good things happened really interesting things happened it was moving quite fast at the end but i kind of wanted that because i feel like because we had a couple of rep repetition of a couple of things um we needed like things to move very quickly in that last part and i quite liked it balance really worked for me um i'm just gonna do my ratings now so i'm gonna use cassidy's spreadsheet which is weighted so it means that um enjoyment matters more so let's get where is the bloody spreadsheet okay so for characters i think i am gonna go for um a nine because i feel like the characters really came into their own in this one they were all got developed quite well and they were very very interesting and then with the plot i think i'm gonna go for sort of like an 8.5 because the way the plot was set up really worked for me based on the first one and then carrying on and then writing, I'm, I'm going to have to put a nine. Do you know why? Because there were a couple of lines in this that really were like, I'll talk about those in a bit. Uh, setting, love the setting. I'm probably going to go for like an eight point. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stick with an eight, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. And enjoyment, I'm going to say like 9.75. Uh, because I absolutely loved it and it came out five stars. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I really loved it. I thought it was really good. Um, I just need to think about my thoughts some more before properly talking about it, I think. I'm just going to go sit and bask in the joy that was Hellbent. Oh, I loved it. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello. So I'm with my cup of tea and I'm ready to talk about Hellbent. You may think, oh, it's probably a few days later again like normal no it's not it's actually only like half an hour 45 minutes later i finished editing the rest of this vlog um before i decided to come back to you with my thoughts on hellbent because i really loved it i loved it i thought it was beautiful um i thought it was really good fun i thought it was really um lovely story i really enjoyed it i loved the setting i loved how um, it's got like eat the story had quite a few layers to it. It had the mystery elements. It had the dark academia elements It had a bit of uh, the fancy elements as well. Like it had all these different things going on And I really loved it. I thought it was really good fun. Um, I loved how there's like slightly romancy elements um, There's a lot of like angst and pining which I really really love so it really like harks to be like a really like suitable really good story for me, it's like my perfect kind of book. Um, and it's very comforting, it felt very familiar. Um, I just really enjoyed it in all of those ways. And I think that, I know this vlog hasn't been super insightful, uh, but I think often the videos about books that I love so much aren't that insightful because um, the books that I really love, I sort of just gush about. So that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna ramble on for too much longer because I think, if I do, uh, I'll probably make it worse. I'll probably get into some sort of gushing situation. No, if you want to talk about Hellbent, I am here to talk about Hellbent. So um, yeah, I'll chat to you in the comments. Thanks for watching this crazy video and I will speak to you again soon. Goodbye.